it's Kay from the Literary Apothecary and today we're going to do a book tag for Book Tag Tuesday and we're going to be doing the rapid fire book tag. I'm going to split this into two parts so part one is today, part two will be next week because it's got like 50 questions and it's super long. I was tagged by Andrew Wizardly Reads and I'm just going to get right into it. There's a whole bunch of questions so hopefully this isn't going to be too long split into two parts. And a lot of these questions I believe if you've watched my videos before, you already know the answers to these, so um, feel free to play along at home. Question one, hardback or paperback? For me, it's both. I don't really care. As long as I have the book, I don't care. Same goes for ebooks or physical copies. I read both. I also, uh, second hand or new copies. Again, I read both. I don't care. As long as it's in good condition, I can... As long as I can still read it, I don't care. I don't even care if it has notes in it because I love seeing what other people pull out. So, yeah, again, both. Audiobooks or nay. Yes, I love audiobooks. I have a hard time listening to audiobooks just on their own in fiction, um, especially fantasy, high fantasy, but I love audiobooks. I'm definitely not against audiobooks. My favorite way to read, I think, is now immersion reading where you're listening to the audiobook along with reading it in front of you with the text. I love it. It's so much fun. I highly recommend it if you need a different way to read. Question number five, do you cover buy? I think this means do you buy based off of the cover? And yes, of course I do. Sometimes I see a pretty book and I want it. I don't care what the book is. I don't, a lot of times I don't even know what it is. I just buy it blind. I love pretty books just like everyone else, so yes, I do cover by. Question six, your favorite cover that you own? And that I obviously have to say my Outlander books that my, all my friends got me, mostly the spines on it, but also like look at this, if I can get it down, look at this cover. That's To me, that's just beautiful. I love it. And I proudly display these for everyone to see. Um, question seven, your least favorite cover that you own, I would say is this book, which is the complete humor sketches and tales of Mark Twain. I'm sure if, when this had a desk jacket, it was a lot prettier than it actually is. But the one thing I do think is cool about it is it has Mark Twain signature right here on the front. But other than that, it's very plain because this is a very, very old book um, full of Mark Twain's short stories and tales. Question eight, first book you ever read? That would be the Curious George books. The first book that I remember reading on my own. I actually used those to teach myself how to read and write before I went to kindergarten. I would first sit there with tracing paper and just trace and trace and trace everything over and then I started learning the letters and the letters made up words so I was able to copy it over and then I was able to create my own after that. Um, question nine, the last book you finished, that would be The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I gave that four out of five stars. I really enjoyed that and can't wait to see where that goes. The last series you finished would be Mistborn Era 1. I read Hero of Ages back in June and I enjoyed that book so much in that series. I think I'd give this series a three and a half, four, four star, somewhere around there. Um, I enjoyed this ser series, but not nearly as much as some did. Question 11, the last book you bought. This one I have two caveats to. First, I've developed a pre-order problem, so I did a bunch of pre-orders. The Fall of Babel by Josiah Bancroft, The Liar's Knot by M.A. Carrick, New Book by Sam Hewen and um, Graham Metavish, uh, Outlander, Book Nine, Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. All of those I just recently, or within the past like month or so pre-ordered. So technically I bought them, but I haven't paid for them yet because you don't get charged until they're shipped. Um, last book that I bought, not counting the pre-orders, would be these three books from the used bookstore. Um, two of them are bibliotherapy books for my Bibliotherapy Sunday. So The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by Rachel Joyce and Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. 
Um, and then I also got Lord John Gray in the Private Matter, which is a short novel novella by Diana Gabaldon based on the character Lord John. Question 12, what's your favorite genre? Historical fiction, fantasy, nonfiction, classics. Those are all my favorites. I love them and I can't get enough of them. Question 13, what's your favorite book in that genre? I would say All the Light We Cannot See. Two books that kind of combine two of those. Z, a novel for Zelda and The Paris Wife, which are kind of like the point of views of Zelda, of Scott Fitzgerald wife, and one of Ernest Hemingway, Hemingway's wives. Outlander, obviously, you guys know how obsessed I am with that. And Joan Didion's works for nonfiction, absolutely fantastic. Question 14, what genre do you never reach for? I guess self-help, I never physically think of reaching for. Um, do you read poetry? Yes, but I would like to read more. Popular science, I had to look this one up and see what exactly popular science is. And I would say some popular science, like I've read two books that I could think of, a book about what we don't know about the universe and the science behind Harry Potter, which I both really enjoyed reading. So I guess technically yes, but not a whole lot. Middle grade, um, I'm thinking this is maybe YA and YA I'm reading more and more of, but still not as much as all the other adult books that I've read. Question 18, what's your favorite bookish item? And for me, that would be a coffee mug that says, go away, I'm reading. Um, I love it and question 19 what's your current bookmark and that is this brand new one I got from my friend Leslie at the nerdy narrative it matches the shirt that I got along with it and I absolutely love it I'm currently using this to mark my place in malice and then the last question for this round question 20 what's the strangest object you've used as a bookmark itself and I don't really use strange things as bookmarks um, some people would say because I occasionally dog ear books or lay them flat on the bed when I have to temporarily mark my place. That's a weird, horrible thing to use as a bookmark, so I guess that. Um, but that's part one of the rapid fire book tag. Thank you, Andrew, for tagging me. Stay tuned for part two coming very soon. Let me know your answers to the questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As always, my Patreon and Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.